Hello everyone. Welcome to AITech1.com. My name is Sumit and I'm a Salesforce Einstein Analytics Consultant. This is my video up, uh, in Einstein Analytics, which is formerly known as WCRM. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you that how can we display a polar God chart with icons. As all of you know that the God charts are a great way to track the company's progress or the client progress or the pro business progress towards meeting a specific goal. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you one example where we would be going to create a polar God chart to track the company's operate. So that's my data set and as you can see I got country country codes their regions and their accounts and the values. so basically these are the values these are some dummy values and I would like to display this I would like to demonstrate this data using a polar God chart in Einstein analytics before move ahead and we before start designing and building up uh, lens in a uh, in Einstein analytics for that we need to take we need to do some customization and what that customization let me show you that let me switch to my Einstein analytics we need to we need to do some research and we need to make some customizations in our Einstein and then only we would be able to present this data in a proper format the the data the values which you can see right now the first thing I'm going to tell you how to get these values because for every client, for every uh, for every user, this value may be different. It depends on the subscription or the uh, the the license which you will be using in Einstein Analytics. So, how to get these values? That's the first important thing. And also, I got some country flags. As you can see, I got the flags icons of couple of countries. And these flags icons are matching with the countries like England, India, Italy, Japan, New Zealand, South Africa, South Korea, US. So I don't have a data for China. So that's not an issue. We can get rid of it. It's not mandatory to add all the flags. It depends on the business requirement. So the first thing we need to do is, first of all, we need to get the URL. So let's have a look how to get this URL. And let me delete this and we'll get the URL quickly one by one. And in order to do this, first of all, I'm going to create a dashboard, create blank data set, drag and drop an image, click on image, click on gallery. And first of all, we need to upload all the images. So I just select all the charts and click on open. So all these charts will be added in the gallery it will get uploaded in the Einstein gallery as you can see and now we can select the flag one by one I just select this flag I just select first flag right click and I just say view image info and from here I can get the location so I need to copy this India one so I'll just copy this India one dot png and paste it in this thing so in same manner we have to copy paste it for all of them so i just say view view image info and that's italy one dot png so italy one dot png so we need to copy and add all the images one by one then I'll look for Japan. So from here, I scroll down and for Japan, view image info. Japan. So don't worry about the region. That might be an issue with that. So it's not mandatory to have the region because of our important the field, the, the fields which will be important will be the country and this field and account and value because we would like to display that East Europe. And for the next one, so the next one I would be requiring is South Africa. So for South Africa, here is South Africa.png. And I'll just quickly copy paste the URL.
then New Zealand, right click, view image info, I copy this, paste it. Then we need South Korea, so that's the South Korea, view image info, and copy. We need US is left, so I'll just go with US, view image in full, and US ENG1, and England. So for England, right click, view image in full, and I copy this. So I got all the images. So we got the complete URL list. So you have to copy paste all the URL one by one and add it into your list, into the data set. Now the next step we'll be doing is we'll be going to upload this data set. So let me close this, close this dashboard. And now I'm going to create a new data set. So I'm going to upload my data set. So CSV data, select a file, F drive, data set, flag, and that's my data set. So I'm going to upload this data set. And let me save this data set in my custom app, country data set. Next. So we got code like country. These are the fields. If you want to make some transformations, we can do it right now. So country, country code, region, flag, account, and values, and let's upload the file. So once the file is uploaded, we are good to start the visualization and let me show you how to do that. So as you can see, the country data set has created successfully. And now we are good to start visualizing the data set. So I quickly explore this data and by default, it will be going to create a default lens for me. So let's check the lens and it's showing count of rows. So instead of count of rows, I just change this to sum of value and group by country. So we group by country. You can see all the countries are coming up here. And I'll just change the formatting and I'll just add, let's suppose I just add the worldwide account or I can just say account value. So we did this much part, but now the next step is to add image URLs, which we have already done. Now the next thing is we need to create the polar gauge chart. So I just scrolled, I just select the chart properties and switch to polar gauge. And as soon as I click on polar, you can see we got individual icons for uh, every country. So these are, so it basically turns to trail, the country moves to the trail list. And for every country, we got a separate or individual polar gauge chart. So I set the properties. And I'm going to set the values because here we have values in six figures almost in, I'll say this is in two to four to six and eight figures. So I'll just set the values, the, the polar, the range values actually, because right now it is hundred. So I'll just set one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost. This. So as you can see for every polar gods, we got different values. It depends on the requirement. What value do we want to set? And also I'm going to set the color themes also. Color themes, I'll just scroll down to conditional formatting and sum of values. And I'm going to create a bin. So I want three bins. So it would be between zero to one. So I got three sections. Let me check the number of values here because we have to be very careful about the values. So 
uh, here I'll just copy this and I'll just paste it. Enter higher value and that's because of and this color I set as the color I set as that's the yellow one. This color I want as a this color I want as a red color. So we need to change some set. We need to do some settings. Red color. This color I set as yellow color. And this color, the next one, I'm going to set as green color. So I set the low color as yellow and the high color I set as green. So you can see we got okay. I'll do one thing. I just set this also as a green. So there would be no. So now you got you can see uh, based on the values, it's displaying the uh, based on the uh, you can say based on the range based on the bins we added, we are getting the values. But now we need to do some more settings. And the setting is, I'll just look at the polar gorge. And in polar gorge, I said that the maximum trail is and trail is a small square type is horizontal. I'll go with matrix. We have matrix, we got wrap and in wrap, I can say number of chart per line, we can switch to six or it depends on, I say five, it depends on the requirement and let me make it four so that we can have equal number of. So this is a simple polar got chart, but now the trick is how can we get the image? And in order to get the image, in order to get the image, we need to do one more customization. But before that, let me save this and I call this as Polar gauge lens because you know that in Einstein we do not have rollback option and there is no auto save feature available, so we need to auto save it. There is no auto save option now to add image. I'll switch to query mode, and in this query mode, just next to sum of value, I'm going to add. I'm using the first, there's a function called first, and the field name is. Uh, the field name is I'm looking for this flag underscore image URL. So I'll just copy the API name. I just copy API name and paste it here in between the single code. Flag image URL as flag image URL and run query. So when we run it, we'll get this extra field as flag image URL. And this flag image URL will be will be going to use in settings. So I'll just switch to settings, polar gauge. And in Polar Gorge, as you can see, we'll be getting the icon use icon and I, sit, I click use icon and I select flag image URL. And now you can see based on the countries, it based on the country, it will display its map. So that's the way we can present our data in a more, uh, more meaningful format, more structured format, and it's a high presentational data. So uh, so what we will be doing here, we will be displaying the total account value in countries or regions where the companies operates. So this is how we can add a polar gauge with the country flag in Einstein analytics in a lens. So that's all in this video. That's a customized polar gauge. So if you like this video, don't forget to uh, like this video. You can post your comments in comment box if you are looking for customized training on Einstein analytics from our professionals, our subject matter expert. You can visit our website www.aitech1.com or you can email us on support at the red aitech1.com or info at the red aitech1.com or you can contact us on the given numbers. Keep watching. Do subscribe our channel for more updates. Thank you guys. Thank you once again. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.